Hey there, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the enchanting world of one of the biggest names in the music industry, the one and only Taylor Swift. Have you ever wondered how a small town girl with a guitar became a global sensation, winning hearts and accolades across genres? Or what is it like to be the youngest artist to clinch the Grammy for Album of the Year? Get ready because we've got the inside scoop on Taylor Swift's incredible journey from country roads to pop stardom. Taylor Swift, Brian Tedder, and Noel Zakinow. But before we unravel the tale, have you ever wondered about the mystery behind Taylor's record-breaking Grammy wins or how she became a billion-dollar force? Taylor Swift became famous as a country singer when she was 16. Early hits like Love Story and You Belong With Me were liked by both country and pop fans, and they helped make her records, including the award-winning Fearless multi-platinum hits. It's just a lot of a lot. The Shake It Off and anti-hero singer is now a pop superstar with 12 Grammys. But what's there to know about her? Let's dive into that. Where does Taylor Swift come from? Taylor Swift was born in Reading, Pennsylvania on December 13, 1989. In her early years, Swift lived on a Christmas tree farm in nearby Wyoming with her parents, Scott and Andrea, and brother, Austin. Swift went into music because her grandma, Marjorie Finley, was a professional opera singer. By age 10, Swift sang at fairs, contests, and other neighborhood events. By the time she was 12, she was writing her songs and learning how to play the guitar. At age 11, she sang The Star Spangled Banner at a Philadelphia 76ers basketball game. Swift is now one of the biggest pop stars of today. She started out performing in small Tennessee venues and now leads entire stadiums of her devoted fans, called Swifties, on foreign tours. At age 14, she got a record deal with Scott Borchetta's Big Machine Records after a great show at Nashville's The Bluebird Cafe. In her early years, she worked as a country musician. The name of her first song, Tim McGraw, came from one of the biggest names in the genre. Swift wrote the song in her first year of high school, and it quickly became a top 10 hit on Billboard's country chart, putting her in the public eye. McGraw and Faith Hill, another country star, even brought Taylor Swift on as an opening act for their Soul to Soul tour the following year. It wasn't long before Swift started getting good reviews for her work. In 2007, the team got the Summit Award from the Country Music Association, CMA, and the Top New Female Vocalist Award from the Academy of Country Music, ACM. She was up for Best New Artist at the Grammys the following year. In 2010, for Fearless, she won the Grammy for Album of the Year, making her the youngest act to do so. Do you know how many Grammys Taylor Swift has? Swift has won 12 of the 52 Grammy Awards she has been nominated for, and she has six more nods for the 2024 show. 2008, she was up for Best New Artist for the first time. Amy Winehouse won the award, but Swift, who is 20 years old, lived up to her early promise by winning four Grammys the following year. Fearless won Album of the Year and Best Country Album in 2009. The song White Horse won Best Country Song and Best Female Country Vocal Performance. Swift has won Album of the Year three times for Fearless, 1989, and Legend. For solo albums, she is the only woman who has done this. That being said, Swift has been nominated a record seven times for Song of the Year, but she has never won the award. The artist has won twice out of five votes for Best Country Song. Mean won the award the year after White Horse. With Midnight's The Pop Star could become the first artist to win Album of the Year four times in 2024. I had sort of 
made up my mind that if you were going to be this generous and give us this. The album is also up for Best Pop Vocal Album. She is also up for Record of the Year, Song of the Year, Best Pop Solo Performance for Anti Hero, and Best Pop Duo Group Performance for Karma, with Ice Spice at the 2024 Grammys. Wow, that's such a lot. You are your own definition of beautiful and worthwhile. That's what you are. Popular songs. Swift's music has been on the Billboard chart since her first song, Tim McGraw, came out in 2006. As of December 2023, 232 of her songs have been on the Pop Hot 100. There have been a record-setting 49 songs in the top 10, and Swift has had 11 number one hits. Only Drake has more top 10 hits than Swift. She also has nine number one country songs, such as Our Song and Should Have Said No. In November 2008, Fearless debuted at number 9 on the mainstream list. It was Swift's first song to make it into the top 10. It would be about four years before her first number one song. That was in September 2012 with We Are Never Ever Getting Back Together, which was nominated for a Grammy. Music Albums Swift has released 18 albums, with 10 original studio albums, 4 reissues, and 4 live records. Besides those live albums, Every album she's put out since her second album, Fearless, has been at the top of the Billboard 200 for at least one week. With five albums in the top 10 simultaneously, in December 2023, she became the first live artist to do so. Are you ready for it? Her first album with Taylor Swift came out in 2006, and Midnight's, which came out in 2022, has all new music from her. 1989, Taylor's version, her most recent re-recorded album, came out in October 2023. How much is she worth and when she was 26, Swift was the highest paid musician and celebrity of any industry in 2016 per Forbes, making $170 million. It was one successful year among many, allowing the pop star to build a substantial net worth. According to Forbes, as of December 2023, Swift has a net worth of $1.1 billion. Her wealth has skyrocketed in the past year, driven by the pop star's highly successful Iris tour. All of her real estate holdings add to her total net worth. Business Insider says that her homes are worth $84 million. Documentary films and movies. Swift had already released a few live movies, but her Netflix documentary Miss Americana made a bigger splash. The record came out in January 2020 and talked about how she made her most recent studio albums, as well as other important events, such as her sexual assault trial. I, I think that Taylor Swift, she is annoying. All of her model friends. Too good. Going through guys like a train. She's too skinny. Nobody physically saw me for a year. Swift has also tried her hand at acting. She was in the hit movie Valentine's Day 2010, with Julia Roberts, Jamie Foxx, Jessica Biel, Bradley Cooper, and other big names in Hollywood. Then came a voice part in The Lorax, 2012, and another in The Giver, 2014. And of course, a few others. And there you have it, Swifties. What's your favorite Taylor Swift moment? And how has her music touched your life? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, remember to hit that like button, subscribe for more exclusive content, and ring the notification bell so you can catch all of it. Thanks for watching.